Hey guys, it's Judy, and um, today I just want to show you some apps that I love using and that I found. Um, I might for my iPhone um, for like Project Live or just for scrapbooking in general. And I know on um, on on my last Project Life share, I had a question regarding like pictures when I scrap them. On the iPhone, I'm not able to find a date on the phone itself unless I've uploaded it, uh, unless it's uploaded to my computer. I have a Mac, so or you know, um, in the iPhoto. So then I know what the date is through that, but I don't know on the phone. But I did find an app, and I know a few people like Rashida. Hi, Rashida. She's Roseflower317, and also um, Diane Rivers. Hi, Diane. She recommended um, Exif. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> she recommended the Exif Wizard right here. And basically, when you download that these are free so you see I have a lot of photos <laughs> 7,000 plus so then if you choose a photo um, it will give you not only the date but you know this was taken with my 3GS this was in 2011 it shows the aperture the exposure all that stuff which I really don't need that much but it is a great app Thank you, Diane, for finding that. But I wanted to share another one that deals with the photos. And it's called Photo Date. And this is really basic. Here, you go into that, and then it hooks up to your camera roll. So then if you, you know, pick on the photo. Oh, uh, this, well, I don't like that photo because it's blurry. I want to show you my son. But look, see, it says March 2011, so you scroll through the photos, and then I have a lot of March, and then April 2011, so it'll show you generally that, but if you click on the photo itself, look, that's April 1st, 2011. Look how young my son is, ah! Um, so this is when he was almost a year. <laughs> he'll turn three next month, so... So yeah, so yeah, that's all you need. That's all I need. Like if I um, want a photo, I just click on the photo and it will show the date. So basically it's a date stamp. Um, so I think that is a great app. So that's called Photo Date. You just go into your app store and you, you look up fo Photo Date and that's the one. And another one, I know I showed you the Copic Colors, but those who don't didn't see my... Um, YouTube on that. They did update this, and um, here's the app. The app is changed. Oops, oops, oops. Wrong one. Sorry. No. Um, if you go, app has changed. This is the, they don't have the app on the iPhone um, app store, because, you know, of all the fees and stuff, they did their own app, and if you look at Hilliston, H Y L I S T O N, um, or look up Copic um, Color App or something like that, and with that name, you should find how to download that app. And basically, um, this is a newer version. So when it updated, all my markers that I had tagged, I mean, or input in here, are now all under the ske sketch type. So you can do it through Sketch, Copic, um, or Chow, or Wide, or Refills. There's a Refill section. And then they said, now it goes through the cloud. So basically, if you input your data in um, here on your iPhone, it will also, via cloud, update on your iPad as well. So you don't have to keep uploading on each um each um whatever each tool so so this is how it looks and they also added the check mark to show which ones you have so this is my my stuff so if you look in you know yg these are the yg's i have the the gray the g's i mean the greens and then the w's you know 
so I'm able to see exactly what I have. So I know a lot of people have those charts, but who carries their chart everywhere with them? You carry your phone everywhere. So if I'm at a store, I need to pick up a marker. Um, I can check, oh, what colors I don't I have? I think it's a great app, and I haven't had any trouble with it. I think they've done updates and stuff, so um, it works great. So like I said, right now everything was moved to Sketch, but if you want to be more specific, I don't really care whether it's Sketch, Chow, or Copic, or Y that I have, but what's good is the refills, too. You can also add, you know, I have a lot of like refills for skin because that runs out the most for me. Uh, and hair color, like the black, the the warm grays and stuff. But um, but I think I love this app because then I can check on which colors I do have. And you know, I, I I'm guilty of buying doubles because I didn't think I had the color, but I did. So that's how it is. So that is, like I said, um, let me see, Hilston is the name. So that's the name of the person who created it, and I believe. So um, you can check out their website or look at my old video um, regarding this this app. And I think that is all. Oh, no, no, no. There was another one I wanted to show you, um, how I did my photos. Um, all those previous ones were free, but the pick frame is not. And it's P.I. Let me let me show you. Pick frame. Um, um, let me. Where do I go back? Let's see. I'm trying to use two finger. Two. So let me see. Um, let's see. So pick frame. It's just P I C frame. And basically, this does the collage on your, your phone um, for your pictures. Um, so here, if you go here, there's a ratio. You can do, I choose, if you want a horizontal 4x3, three by, by three, that's that one. If you want it vertically, 3x4, um, that's the one. And I usually put like four photos. And then basically, it's really easy. You click on that, and you, it goes to your camera film roll or whatever and then you just add whichever photos you want and then you can like um I think enlarge it or however however um you know move the photo wherever you want it and oops I think I just adjusted the frame but you can adjust it to you know however you want it if you touch the actual grids and then, like, if you just pick each photo, you know, whichever photo you want. I'm just not really looking, but and that one. Oops, that one's take a photo. I can take a photo of my hands, I guess. And then do that. Preview use. You can use that. You know, let's say if you want to just do a... This is... Oops, I don't want to, I'm having a hard time, because I'm filming from my iPad, <laughs> but, and then just the fingers, his fingers, so if you do it like that, like I said, you can enlarge the photo, or however you want, and then in order to save it as the collage, you just go share, and then you just save, you can email, you can Facebook, do whatever you want, but I usually just do save and it's saving into my camera roll so then if you look in my you know my camera roll or photos it should be right there so it was saved so there's my photo here so there it is and then however you normally print out your photos you just do that okay so those were my t um some of my favorite um Apps, the pick frame, but that was like one ninety nine to upload, and also the Copic Colors by Hilston. The Exif Wizard is the one that Diane Rivers showed. Hi, Diane. Thank you for that. And then that shows a real detail of each image, each photo. But the photo date 
is what I, I like. And it's just really basic with as far as, you know, showing the date your picture was taken. Okay? Well, hope everyone's having a great weekend. Hope this helps. And feel free. I'd love to hear you guys, um, what, you, what apps you guys like to use as well. Okay? Thanks. Bye.